We've said it before and we'll say it again. One of the best ways to get into entrepreneurship is to find a solution to a real problem in your life. Hello, my name is Alex Weisskopf. I am co-founder and CEO at Lingwix.com. Alex founded Lingwix to take on a problem that he and many others face daily, language barriers. By harnessing AI, Alex is leveling the language playing field with a little button on your web browser. So how about we start off by clarifying, what exactly is Linguix? Linguix, this is a writing assistant tailored to non-native English speakers uh, and the language skill improvement system at one time. So you can write something and the application will fix your writing, correct your mistakes, offer explanations. And also it will generate a personalized language training and language training session for you based on your exact mistakes. And so you can make a faster progress as a writer because uh, all the learning curve is based on your content, on your tasks that you face every day. So this is basically it. And for now we are expanding the offering and we are now uh, tailoring to not only non-native speakers but native speakers as well because we are adding more language trainings uh, based on professional writing, for example, on how to write cold emails or email subject lines and we'll expand this. What was behind the creation of Linguix? Because I am myself, I'm a non-native English speaker and I relocated to the United States so around five years ago and I needed to improve my writing skills, my language skills, and so I tried a bunch of solutions, uh, writing assistance software, and I realized that uh, these tools were not that good for me because I had a problem that, for example, I was not good with articles and so I could make a mistake with article 100 of times. Then I clicked accept for the correction 100 of times and then I made a, the same mistake again and again. So I realized that maybe it would, would be cool to create a tool that would not only fix my writing just a way, but also will offer me some personalized training and insight on how to make my writing better, how to improve my skills. Alex saw potential when existing grammar tools didn't meet his specific needs. Language barriers aren't just inconvenient for the over 35 million people in the U.S. who speak another language at home. These language hurdles are found everywhere and can affect day-to-day -day life, especially in the job market. That's how Alex demonstrates that earlier point so well. When you solve problems using your perspective, your idea is going to ring true for others. Tell us more, Alex. What is the mission guiding Linguix forward? Building a great team so that everyone on the team had the right motivation, is user-centered, so we're not just like writing code. We are uh, building a solution that will help people solve their business tasks, their you know, communication tasks, especially as we are targeting non-native speakers, for example, if the non-native speaker who comes to a native speaking country, these people have lots of problems, and if we can help them, we should help them, so this is our mission. How are you hoping Linguix will impact the AI industry? We hope that Linguix will affect not only our industry, but multiple industries, because uh, we work with text, with content people write, and people write everything on multiple websites in any industry. So we could affect like you know, marketing, we can help people who work in sales, we can help people who are creating job descriptions like HRs. So we actually would like to help all the folks and change how people communicate and how they create content in like any industry in the world. So we know that millions of people in the US have language barriers. It's a huge market already. But then Alex opened up Linguix to everyone because if you haven't noticed, English is a complicated language. Everyone could use some help understanding it better. A lesson here that we love from Linguix, more people may need your idea than you think. That's why listening to your real users can get you a better product. So Alex, what final advice would you give to an aspiring entrepreneur? I would just advise myself to be faster, to try more things, to do not be afraid of failures and experiments. So that took me some time to understand that if you did something and you did not succeed right away, that it is actually not that bad. So 